Steve Dotto here. How the heck you doing this fine day? Me? I am looking forward to spending some time with you today in Google Maps. Now, Google Maps is one of those super rich applications that have so many features built in, you actually need a roadmap to get around within it. <laughs> Irony. It's Google Maps, specifically Google Maps for Transit, today on Dotto Tech. I'm a big fan of Google Maps and, uh, and just the freedom that it gives us and the control and the amount of stress that it reduces in our lives and, and just the, the wealth of information Google delivers us in Google Maps. It's always a joy to dive in and see what's new. And s there's so much in it that sometimes when we dive in to see what's new, we actually discover something that's old that's new to us. This may be new to you, it may not. Let's talk today about transit apps or transit uh, functionality built into Google Maps. Now, the transit tools are so robust within Google Maps that many transit authorities use Google Maps as their de facto standard for helping people get around within their jurisdiction. It's just that good. Let's take a quick look. So we're in the desktop version. We're gonna move over to the mobile version in just a few moments, but we're gonna start in the desktop version and just kind of take a look at the basic transit tools. And typically speaking, when you're gonna be taking transit, you're gonna to want to be go somewhere. So I'm gonna choose a location. I wanna to go to the theater. And we click on get directions. And then we choose where we want to go from. I'm going to head from home today. And so what it does then is it immediately brings back the transit directions for me to, if I'm leaving now, to go from point A to point B. Along the top here, we have all of the different type of routing options that Google gives us in Maps, from basic directions to driving directions to transit directions, which is uh, what we are just in, to even walking and biking directions if there happen to be unique bike, bike lanes and bike paths in your area. So you've got all those different options for creating routing options for you to get wherever you're going. But within the transit options, you of course have all of the details of how to get there if you leave now, but you can also choose to leave at a different time or to choose uh, your uh, schedule based on when you need to arrive, which could be quite useful. Now, the, another key is you can actually choose to depart on a different day if you're, if you're looking at, you know, kind of planning into the future in case there's not a daily schedule, but maybe uh, the schedule changes in whatever, wherever it is that you're going. This is really useful if you're traveling to another city and you want to make plans and you want to decide whether or not you're going to be taking an Uber or taking a taxi or taking transit. You can do all of this planning and this kind of what if scenarios using these tools and know exactly what the schedules are going to be when you arrive in that location. So this is really useful. Once you've decided on whatever routing option you're looking for, if you're leaving now and it's uh, you know kind of if you're going to be going immediately, it will also notify you right here in this in this in the display if the any of the transit options that you're choosing are delayed. You'll get a little red notification. It looks like everything's running on time right now here in in Vancouver, but uh, if there was any delay, I'd see a little red notification that this bus or this train is running three minutes late or four minutes late. That sort of thing, which again helps us plan things out. By clicking on any one of the routes that we choose, we get a detail of that route, which we can uh, go through to make sure that we're comfortable with all of the, where we're walking and what we're doing. And then we can take this entire planner and we can send it to our smartphone, which with, with, with whichever phones you have hooked up to your system. You can also send it to, uh, you can create a link so that you can actually share it with somebody else if you want it, or just email it to yourself and share it as a link. There's also this schedule explorer that lets you kind of uh, work your way through the different routing options that are available to you. And you can scroll up and down and look at different times that they're leaving and the different trains uh, and different, in my case, there's just a few different buses that are gonna be taking me to this one location. But you can see what your different options are and you can kind of browse through, maybe looking for something that's gonna take a little bit less time. There's a one hour and three minutes versus one hour and 16 minutes to get to the same location. Well, obviously I'm gonna go for the one hour, three minute one if, I, if, I'm, if I'm choosing. So I can again plan my departure accordingly. So all of these tools are built right into maps. A key being the ability to be able to take the information, take whatever routing you're gonna be doing and share it to your mobile device so that you have the information where you need and when you need it. Now, speaking of that mobile device, let's take a look at maps on the smartphone because the smartphone version of the apps have some additional features built in as well as many of the same ones, but they typically work just a little bit differently, but again, very effectively. Now in this particular case, let's we'll take a look and we can see I'm going to choose uh, the, same, the same sorts of things. I'm gonna to choose to go to the Q QE theater and I'm gonna ask for directions from home. 
and there it's given me the exact same routing as we saw in the map. Uh, there are some additional options that we have within here. Uh, when I click on any of the, when I click on any of the, um, uh, any of the detail screens, I have the ability to add this to my calendar, which I quite like because then with Google Assistant, the calendar knows when you're going to be going somewhere and it'll give you notification and alerts of when you should be getting ready to leave. It'll give you like, oh, you got to go in 20 minutes. Don't forget that sort of thing. Uh, not 20 minutes before the appointment, but 20 minutes before you should be leaving to get to the appointment. Do you see where we're headed with that? So there's some really nice additional features built in here. So you can add it to your calendar. And actually, when you go to add it to your calendar, you can add it to the Google Calendar app, or you can actually add it to Google Calendar to the, to the online version as well. They'll both end up in the same place, but it appears slightly differently in the app, and it just, it just looks a little bit cooler when you go to open the app. Having, as well, as, as, you, as soon as you save any of these routes, you can also get notifications that if uh, anything is delayed or if there's any changes to the routing or the schedule, which again could be a big time and uh, saver if you're, uh, you know, if you recognize that, you know, something's going to be 15 minutes late, you don't have to rush as, as much to get there, or you might look for other options for getting around. And of course you have access to all of that with the smartphone. Now the ability to save all of this information on your smartphone uh, is a convenience if you've got mobile data. But if you don't have mobile data on your smartphone, the ability to save all of this information when you do have Wi-Fi access means that you still have access to all of your routing information uh, even when you're not online. So lots of different flexible options here built into Google Calendars. I am in, as I say, every time I open Google Calendar, I find something that I appreciate that much more within the tool. And the transit tools are just another great example of where Google Calendar can end up working really well for you. I hope you found today's video to be useful. Now, I do have a few favors to ask. First, could you please subscribe to our channel? That way, you'll see all of our new upcoming videos here on YouTube. And secondly, and perhaps even more important, why not consider subscribing to our newsletter? That way, you'll learn about all of our upcoming events and tutorials here on Dottotech, including our weekly webinar series called Webinar Wednesday, where we dive deep into one topic or another each and every week, and it's absolutely free. Till next time, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.